Oh, hey. <laughs> I know it's Christmas Eve and all, so thanks for stopping by. So you might have noticed that this isn't my uh, usual setup. And well, that's because this year I decided to take the mantle of old Saint Nick upon myself and spread some holiday cheer. Now, some would call that breaking and entering, but I just call that Christmas spirit. And because of my noble work, it allows for a little change in scenery and spreading Christmas cheer and keeping the spirit alive. Keeping the Christmas spirit alive for all the young boys and girls out there. But hey, speaking of Christmas spirit, since this channel is all about creepy or mysterious topics, I figured what better way to celebrate the holidays than by reading another classic scary story, kind of like how I did for Halloween. Now the story is short and sweet, but still a holiday classic, and I remember it sticking with me a lot during the holiday season. And this story being short is kind of convenient for me, because this guard dog is only going to tolerate my presence for so long. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. r slash no sleep. A spy cam in my Christmas tree caught more than just Santa. Last year, on Boxing Day, I found a really cool ornament at a clearance box. It had a built-in camera to record a unique perspective on your holiday celebrations. I grabbed the last one from the store's dusty shelf and brought it home for less than 10 bucks. I forgot about it until my wife, my two daughters, and I decorated the house earlier this month. I told my daughters about the camera and said we'd secretly catch Santa in the act. I had an old costume at the attic and intended to deliver some gifts in full view of the camera on Christmas night. My curls were overjoyed and went back and forth trying to find the best place to put the ornament on the tree. They had no idea Daddy repositioned it later so it could actually catch the living room at a good angle. In the nights leading up to Christmas, I turned the camera on to make sure everything was working properly. In the morning, I previewed the footage, just long enough to confirm the thing was working. Satisfied, I inserted the micro SD card back into the ornament and slipped it into a battery in anticipation for the big night. Daddy didn't want to disappoint the girls with a failed recording. We enjoyed Christmas Eve as a family, playing board games and eating way more junk food than there was room in our stomachs, like we do pretty much every year. We let our daughters open one gift for Mommy and Daddy before going to bed. The girls, still riding their sugar high, could be heard giggling in their bedrooms from all the way upstairs. From time to time, my wife and I could hear one of them shush the other, claiming she'd hear the hooves on the roof or bell jingling. Eventually, our kiddos dozed off. My wife kissed me on the cheek and headed to bed while I turned off all the lights. I retrieved the costume and tiptoed to the living room, getting ready for my big feature film debut. I did everything you would expect Santa to do. I ate most of the cookies, I drank the milk, I pet my large stomach and said, my ho-ho-hos and I dropped a few presents by the fireplace, all in full view of the camera. A pretty good acting job, if I do say so myself. On Christmas morning, the girls came running into our bedroom to wake us up. They excitedly insisted we watch the video before opening the presents. I transferred the footage to my laptop, forwarded to where Santa showed up, and pressed play. My girls squealed with delight and jumped in front of the screen, frantically waving at Santa while obscuring the video from my view. It brought me so much joy to see how happy the girls were. I was too lazy to stop the video, so it continued to play in the background while we unwrapped our gifts. I spotted a box I had not seen the night before. It was small and wrapped in blue foil paper I did not recognize. My name was on it, but my wife seemed as surprised as I was to see it there. Noticing my confusion, my youngest daughter spoke. Daddy, that's gotta be from Mr. Elf, she said, her voice cheerful and bright. I was ready to dismiss her elf comment as just another weird thing kids say, but my wife wasn't so quick to ignore it. Honey, what elf? She asked. My daughter pointed to the laptop and by then the video had ended and all that was left on the screen was a preview of the first frame. The one that came with Santa, she answered. Panic struck me like a bird in a jet propeller. I know my wife didn't dress up as an elf. I scanned the video clicking forward and back until I saw what my daughter had seen. There was someone in the living room. He walked into the corner after I turned the lights off. He stood there watching me parading around as Santa. The video went completely quiet after that. It was as though the camera failed to record a single sound. The strange, tall man in an elf costume stood perfectly still for over an hour, watching the camera from a distance. After a while, he walked over to the plate of cookies and bit the head off a gingerbread man. 
I glanced at the plane and saw his teeth mark on the decapitated cookie. The man then quietly approached the Christmas tree. I thought the audio wasn't working, but as he reached the tree, I began hearing his slow and steady breaths. He reached towards the ornament, and the video stopped. In a terrified frenzy, I grabbed the blue box he left behind. I ripped the bow off of it and tossed the frilly thing away. I frantically removed the wrapping paper, opened the box, and looked inside. There, on a bed of bubble wrap, was the battery I'd put in the camera the night before. My wife took the ornament and opened the back. The battery was missing. I don't know what scares me more. What the camera caught, what the elf might have done after he turned off the camera. And there you have it, folks. That's our story for this time. And man, <laughs> I never thought I would get the feeling of being watched by a Christmas tree. But I really like this little short creepypasta. I think it's very effective for what it is. So why don't you let me know in the comments what your favorite Christmas horror story is. But most importantly, guys, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone out there and Happy New Year. And I hope Santa brought you all the gifts you could have possibly asked for this year. That is, unless you were naughty. And then, in that case, well, Krampus is coming. But I hope you all really liked this short holiday special just to hold you over till my next longer video. And just to go ahead and wrap this whole thing up before the homeowners wake up and see a strange man sitting in their living room with a glowing Christmas shirt. Just in case I don't see you guys. Stay safe and have a good one.